Today we are stepping into the world of filmmaking with the Symbol Memory 7 Pro Film Monitor. Join me as we dive deep into its features, performance, and whether it's worth the investment. Welcome, filmmakers and enthusiasts alike, to our comprehensive review of the Symbol Memory 7 Pro Film Monitor. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. Why does a film monitor even matter? Well, for any filmmaker, having a reliable monitor is crucial. First, for framing shots accurately, monitoring exposure, and most important, ensuring focus is stuck sharp. Enter the Symbol Memory 7 Pro. This is a feature-packed device that aims to elevate your filmmaking skills. First impressions matter, and the Memory 7 Pro doesn't disappoint. Its sleek and minimalist design exudes professionalism, while its robust build quality instills confidence in its durability. The 7-inch IPS display is housed within a cylinder frame, making it portable enough to carry around on set without adding unnecessary bulk to your gear bike. The 7-inch IPS display promises a vivid visual experience or while keeping a slim profile. 
This slick marble is enclosed in an aviation aluminum body that has been meticulously crafted with an integrated cutting process. The result is a device that's not only slim and lightweight, but also incredibly durable, fitting effortlessly into your gear bag without wearing your down. Setting up the Memory 7 Pro is a breeze, thanks to its user-friendly interface and intuitive controls. Within minutes, you can have it mounted on your camera rig and ready to go. Plus, it's compatible with a wide range of cameras, ensuring seamless integration into your existing setup. This monitor has dual batteries, which means that you can quickly swap batteries on the go while still using the monitor. That's very convenient and make sure that you have like a very, really long battery life. But what really is important about a film monitor is the screen itself. And as you can see, this is very bright and very vivid. I mean, it looks like real life. I took it purposely outdoors on a very sunny day to see how well it performs. And it looks great from all angles. Now, it is also packed with a lot of features. Like, for example, we have waveforms, RGB parallel, histogram, vectorscope. Like, this is very complete. I'm going to turn this off. Um, for example, you can also set the opacity on this, so in case it's interfering with whatever it is that you're shooting. Let me turn that off. Now, we're going to go to the different grids that you have. For example, this is the grid that I like with a rule of search, but we can also have anamorphic, and they have the anamorphic discrete for all the different kind of lenses that you might be using in your camera. We also have the safe area, and we have some different kind of uh, markers that we can uh, neutralize. Now, let's go back here, they're all disabled at the moment. Uh, of course, we also have peaking here. Uh, we can set the intensity of the peaking. Currently, I'm using autofocus because I'm more focused on shooting the video of the monitor. But yeah, we can set the colors. And when we have peaking, you can see that is spot on. It's looking really great. I'm using an f1.8 lens um, with beautiful background blur and yeah looking great and you can see how the picking goes directly into our model let me turn that off and show you on the next settings we also have zebras to make sure that the exposure is correct and look at that this is really good but the ways the best way to accurately expose your images is with false color and this is my preferred method and you can see that it's more or less well exposed on the model but the background is a little bit clipping but yeah, this is very helpful to have in a film monitor. Now here we can also mount a 3D LUT. So in case you have a predetermined look that you're wanting your videos, you can have them uh, directly in your monitor. And what's very impressive is that you can also record your images directly into your monitor. So let me show you that quickly. We can record here. Uh, now we are recording from the monitor itself into an SD card that is already inside the monitor. So if you have to have some shots uh, quickly, um, you can also stop there, play it. And now we can see the shot that we already shot in the monitor without even shooting on the camera. So I never stop recording in the camera. The camera is constantly recording. And this is from the monitor itself. We can pause, go back. Um, besides that, we also have settings. So we can adjust some basic settings. We can also lock the screen. So nothing ever changed. And we also have some uh, custom buttons here on the top. As far as gear goes, I tend to like gear that is specifically very portable, lightweight and small. Now, a 7-inch monitor may not seem like it falls into that category, but this is very slim and is relatively lightweight. And 7 inches, well, the images look so good on it. I mean, it's so easy to focus manually if you are using manual lenses and all the features on the touch screen is very responsive that makes it like one of the best options one of the best monitors that also i review here in this channel so i really like it one little thing i like to add before i sign out is that we have 3g sdi connections beside the hdni import and output so we have input and output so you can use it in combination with some um, wireless uh, hdni devices so yeah pretty damn good it's kind of highly recommended if you have uh like this video make sure to comment like share and subscribe let me know what you think about the memory 7 pro and i'll catch you up on the next one adios amigos